Do you want to create a website in like five minutes? Well, both Bluehost and Hostinger provide AI website creation tools for WordPress, but are they any good and which one is best? What's up everybody, my name is David. I hope you're having a great day. So in this video, I'm gonna compare Bluehost WordPress AI creation tool and compare it to Hostinger's WordPress AI creation tool. With each shared hosting company, when you get a shared hosting account, you get access to these AI tools. So are they any good? What kind of website do they make? How can you customize your website? I'm gonna cover all the little details that you need to know. So if you're ready to get started, make sure to check the links in the description for timestamps and resources mentioned in this video. So let's begin. Welcome to my laptop, let's begin. So I'm over here in my Bluehost shared hosting account and I went ahead and created a website and that's part of the installation of WordPress you get to a point where you're prompted to use the AI site creator. I'm following a tutorial or import a WordPress site. So let's check out the AI site creator, create a site in seconds, content and design generated by AI, customizable by you. So let's go ahead and click on this and let me get rid of that. So right here, tell me some details about the site you want created. So I've tried different prompts here. What works best is really like two, three sentences. Don't keep it too long because then it kind of doesn't work correctly. In my opinion, it just doesn't load. So just like two, three sentences is all you need. So let me paste this in. David's Donuts, a bakery making a wide range of premium baked goods, coffee, and donuts. So let's go ahead and click on next. Do you have a logo you would like to use? So if you do already have a logo, you can upload it now. If you haven't created your logo with Canva or a graphic designer, you can just skip this. So I'm gonna click on skip for now. And I'm gonna say that I'm an expert. Okay, so now it's creating the site. So it's building the website, populating images and whatnot. So I'm not gonna cut this at all. I'm just gonna let it load. Oh, look how quick that was. So presto, here are three versions. That was really fast. Okay, so now it's generating three different styles of the site design. Yeah, fantastic. All three of these look outstanding. So we have this one over there, this one, and this one. And you can also preview the version. And if you're not happy with this, you can just click on regenerate to come up with something else. I'm really impressed with this one right there. Actually, all these are really nice. So let's click over here. I'm curious to take a more of a look at this one. Okay, so we have a nice menu item at the top right there, two buttons, a fantastic well-designed image and an offer section right there. Nice little welcome message section right there. And then you can kind of just customize the body of the site over here as needed. So I quite like it. And if you want to look at the other versions, just click over here in the middle. You can click on view all and then your other versions pop up over here on the left hand side. So if I take a look at the middle one right there, that looks great too. All of these are quite nice. Then experience the finest selection of gourmet donuts and coffee. Looks, yeah, I really like it like all these they're all really nice it's like really hard to actually pick and this one's great too with like the little banner at the top right there with like some type of coupon code or discount you can have like mother's day sale that's why you add in like a little banner at the top right there i love all of these deliciously fresh treats like they're done they're all done really well they all look great uh i think i like this one and maybe version three the most now you can also click on the customize button over there if you want to customize different aspects like the color palettes and the different fonts of course if you just like, save and continue and you launch the site obviously you can use the full site editor to edit and adjust your site anyways i'm going to go with this design and layout right here i quite like it so let's click on save and continue great our site is all loaded up and we're ready to begin designing our site now i know you're wondering well how exactly do i do that again well it's actually using the full site editor that's powered by wordpress so you have a few different ways to edit your site. So first off, you can just click over here to edit your site. And what that does is it loads the front page. So it loads the home page. Now, if you wanna see all the different templates, then you have to go over here down to your appearance. And then you wanna click on editor and have this open up over there. Okay, so right over here, we have our home page of our site. So looks good over there. And then over here is we have the different templates that we can then customize, like the navigation styles. And again, just your templates. So let's let this load. There we go. So we have the full site editor over here, as well as the page 
Uh, so let's just navigate over here back to pages just so you guys understand what's going on. So we write down here the front page. This is the front page over here. This is the full site editor to check it out the different templates on your site. You just click over here for templates and here you go. So you can edit and adjust each template for your like your single pose sidebar, left hand sidebar, four, four pages and so forth. And you can also add in additional templates as you want. So that's how this whole thing is working. And if you're just curious as to like what theme is powering your website with the full site editor, it is the wonder theme. Anyways, that's it for Bluehost AI website builder. Next up is Hostinger. So let's see what their AI tool can build. So I'm going through the process of installing a new WordPress powered website with Hostinger and similar to Bluehost as part of the process, I'm at this point where I'm prompted to either create a website with AI or to use a pre-built website and theme. So I'm going to go ahead and create a website with AI. Let's click on next. Now I'm going to use a temporary domain name. So we'll just click on that. And the WordPress installation process has begun. Okay, so WordPress has successfully been installed. Now it's prompting me to tell the AI about my site similar to Bluehost. So my brand name is David's Donuts. Website type, I would say maybe business and services or other. We'll keep it business and services. And we'll use the same exact prompt that I used before. So David's Donuts, a bakery making a wide range of premium baked goods, coffee, and donuts. All right, let's go ahead and click on Create. Now it's going through the process of creating our WordPress-powered website. Very nice. So we have a nice basic website that we can begin editing. So unlike Bluehost with hosting, you get one design. You don't get additional options. And so if you're not happy with this design, you can click over here to create again. Uh, but overall, this design looks good, simple enough and easy to edit. So let's go ahead and click on confirm and edit. All right. So hosting or just drops us off right at the home page design. So we can just jump right into the home page and begin editing and adjusting all of these different blocks. So let's get out of this. Let's take a look over here and let's navigate over here to our templates. And same as before, you're using a bunch of different templates that you can customize individually. So let's navigate to my WordPress dashboard over here. And let's go over here to pages because I want to show you how this is working again. So right over here, we have home set as the front page. So it's taking the front page template. So you have a dedicated home page and a privacy policy menu contact and about. So you have all these dedicated pages already created. Uh, primarily, the one you care about the most is the home page, the front page. So that's how you edit and adjust your site. Let's go ahead and take a look at what theme is powering our website. And our website is being powered by Hostinger AI theme over here. And so it's using the full site editor. So when you want to edit and adjust your site, just click over here to customize, you know, navigate you back to the full site editor. And then you just edit and adjust the templates as needed. So you have your home page over here and the front page taking or the home page, sorry, is taking like the front page templates and that's how that's working. And then you have your other templates that you can edit and adjust. So your front page is right there. Then you have your index page for four pages and your single post right there. So overall, not too complicated, pretty simple with regards to the design. Anyways, that's Hostinger's AI tool to help you create WordPress websites in just a few minutes. Okay, so that is it for Hostinger's AI WordPress Builder. Now, Hostinger also offers a traditional website builder that also uses AI to just generate a website for you. Now, maybe it's not a fair comparison because a website builder is not WordPress, but because Hostinger offers this AI tool, I think it is kind of a fair comparison because with Hostinger, you have two options. You have the WordPress AI website builder thing, and then you have a traditional website builder. So to make this comparison really comprehensive, I am going to compare the website builder to Bluehost. Now, one caveat with using a website builder at Hostinger is that it is a proprietary tool. So if you do decide to build your website with their website builder, you're kind of stuck at Hostinger. The reason you're stuck is because again, it's a proprietary tool. Like if your site's powered by WordPress and you can migrate your site to any number of hosts that you want. So I just want to let you know that limitation. Anyways, let's jump into my laptop and begin. And finally, Hostinger does provide a website builder and that website builder does have AI built into it. So how does it stack up? Well, let's take a look at it. So let's go through the same process. So I'll type in David's Donuts. And the description will be exactly the same thing as before. So bakery making a wide range of premium baked goods. 
And there we go. Add an online store to my site. Yeah, we'll keep that. And let's go ahead and create a website. Okay, so the AI tool is going through the process of creating our website with the website builder. And here we go. So this is what the website builder came up with. So we can change our color palettes over there. If we're not happy with this, we can create again. So let me go ahead and click on that. We'll create a website again. Maybe I'm not happy with that. Let's generate another design. Okay, so not bad, but the only issue is that it's David's Donuts and this is chocolate, so that doesn't make any sense. So if you want to go back to like a previous design, don't worry, you absolutely can. Just click over here for version history, then click on version one, and it puts you right back to where you were. So we'll just go ahead and edit and adjust this right there. Also, you can change the color palettes around as you like. I'll click on that one for blue. We'll click on continue. Now, because an online store was suggested as part of the website creation process, it is prompting me to set up the e-commerce on the back end for the website builder. If you don't want to do that, you can always navigate back here and take care of this at another time. Let's click over here to edit the website because I want to get back to the website and edit the website. We can do the e-commerce thing later. All right. So right now it's in the coming soon mode. So we'll just leave that alone. And this is the website builder. So it's pretty simple overall. So you can add in different elements. An element is basically a section. Nothing complicated over there. So if you want to, <clears throat> so if you want to add in a new section, simply click on the Add Section button. Then you have a bunch of different sections that you can just add in at the click of a button. It's very nice. You can also move sections up and down with ease. So we'll click over here. Click on that. Move that down. Looks good over there. So section height. We can make that bigger. So I quite like this. Very nice. We can change everything around if we want. Oh, totally up to you. And so over here, you have your elements, you have your page navigation, website styles over there if you want to change the colors. And then over here, you have the AI page generator, AI writer, AI image generator, AI blog generator. So you have a bunch of AI tools built into the website builder that's not built into the WordPress aspect of everything. So that's a difference that's worth knowing. So let's go ahead and click on maybe AI section generator. And so then we can prompt it to create us a dedicated section for something. Okay, so my section description is to create like a welcome section explaining the site and have an image on the right hand side. Let's see what it comes up with. Fantastic. This is exactly what I wanted. So it's a nice little welcome section, an image off to the right where you could show yourself or your team or your work fan or whatever that makes sense for your online business or your small business. Then a little paragraph over here that you can then link to like your about page, for example. And if you're not happy with this image, because it's like a teapot that doesn't make any sense, I can click over here to generate an image and then I can have it generate a custom image. Okay, so I have premium donuts and coffee in a bakery. So looks good. So let's create an image. All right, not bad. We'll click on that one and switch it out. So yeah, much better. So overall, the image is all right, but it doesn't really look like donuts per se. And I do think there's better AI tools that make better images. So I'm happy that this is built in. I'm really happy that the section feature is built in. We could just type it and tell like, design me a section that has these elements. That's really helpful. But little details like the image, I'd probably use another tool to create images. So that's it for the AI section generator, which I do find to be the most useful AI tool built into the website builder. And I also think that maybe the AI page generator is useful. Now the AI writer and the AI image generator, there's other tools I think that do a better job for that. Same with the product details generator. You can use a different tool for that. Same with AI SEO assistant and the logo maker. So let's take a look at the page generator over here. Yeah, I want you to create an about page for my bakery where we sell donuts and coffee. There we go. And let's create page. All right. So the page has been created. It's been added to the menu and it's called the about page. So quite nice. Good H1 title tag at the very top right there. Then you can just add and expand this as needed. So a nice location of the bakery right there, the footer, and you just need to add in additional content sections to build out your about page. All right, so now let's create a logo with AI. So over here we have AI tools and you have your logo maker right there. You can also just click on the logo right there. It opens up the logo, then click over here, use AI to create a unique logo. All right, so then you're prompted, just enter in a prompt. So whatever you wanna create, so you can create like an abstract, corporate, eco-friendly, futuristic, geometric, hand-drawn, mosaic, whatever you want. 
Okay, so I'm going to put in David's Donuts and I'm going to go with a modern design. Let's go ahead and click on Create. And just finished. So we have a couple different images that we can use. So you can click on the edit logo and jump into the logo and add text to it. So don't worry about that. Uh, so let's go ahead and click on this one right there. And I'll add in text. David's Donuts. I'm click on that one. That looks good over there. Maybe this one. Uh, try and find a logo. Okay, we'll just use that. Let's go ahead and download. And it downloads as a zip file. So you need to download the zip file to your desktop. And then once you've done that, you click over here for your logo. Then you can just replace the logo image with what you just created. So let me go ahead and do that. I'm going to click on replace image. We'll upload files right there. Click on the logo. And away we go. Yep, great. Then click on select to use that as our logo. And there we go. So simple as that. Anyways, that's it for Hostinger's Website Builder AI Tools. Okay, everyone, that's it for this comparison video of the Bluehost AI WordPress Website Builder and the Hostinger AI WordPress Website Builder. Say that five times fast. And we'll also throw in Hostinger's traditional Website Builder. Overall, both tools are good at creating a basic WordPress website off a simple prompt that you can then customize. I am a little bit preferential to Bluehost. I did think the design at Bluehost is a little bit better and I do like that you get three different options to choose from and you can refresh the design as many times as you want. With Hostinger, you get one design up front, but you can refresh that design as many times as you want. But both tools give you a nice base level template to customize. Now with regards to Hostinger's traditional website builder, I really like it and I think it's good for a small business. Like if you're in the market for a 20, 30, 40 page website that's static, meaning like you don't need to blog or anything, because Hostinger provides really cheap web hosting for up to 48 months at a discount, and you can use a coupon code on top of that to get an additional discount. So overall, the website builder is quite a cost-effective option for a small business. Anyways, I'll leave it there. If you enjoyed the video, subscribe and hit that like button. My name is David. Thanks for watching, and have a good day. Bye-bye.